Howdy YouTube fam, Robbie Crawford here. I'm just kidding, it's Lindsay Crawford and today we're gonna do some shopping. Robbie gave me a budget of $50 to go spend on some discs, on infinite discs, and once I pick out the discs and they get here, he's going to play around with only those discs. Now, the catch is that I know some about discs, uh, but really not that much. And I know a couple of discs that Robbie throws, and I know the ones I throw, but that's about it. So we're going to see how it goes. Howdy y'all, we are here. Lindsay and I just got home from Thanksgiving trip. Uh, and when we arrived, the Infinite Discs package was here. And I guys have been waiting to see what she got. I'm gonna be playing around with these tomorrow. So Lindsay's gonna do a quick explanation of what's in the bag and why she picked it. What's in the bag? Well, I already told Robbie that I got him a combination of uh, three drivers and a putter, which he was, uh, not that thrilled about. I like we'll mitts. See. I'm good. Let's start drivers. Let's let's do putter last because okay. putters are most important. Okay. The first driver I got you is an infinite. Is it an infinite disc? Infinite discs. Exodus. An Exodus. Okay. I got you an Exodus, and I got you an Exodus uh, because the actually there were a lot of different stamps, and the one that I wanted they didn't have it in like the heavier weight, so this was the runner up but I got red because you like red and it's like Moses. And I think it's kind of him parting the Red Sea, but also yeah. it's like he's in the river. Yeah. Anyway, I thought it was cool, so. Dope. Seems like a under, it seems like a neutral flyer. Have you Great. ever thrown one of those before? Absolutely not. Uh, I've never, I've never even seen someone throw one of these before, so I can't. Well, <laughs> Cannot speak, but I'm pumped because every other infinite disc I've tried, I love. So Maybe when you throw it, the trees will part for you, like the sea party for Moses. Wow. What? This one is from a um, maker I've never heard of before, um, and it's, here, I'll hand it to you. RPM. RPM from New Zealand. From New Zealand. This is a Kotari. Kotar? Iridocyclitis. I did the exact same thing when I was shopping. I don't know. I, I thought maybe Katara. Katara. Okay. You know, okay. I don't yeah. know. Uh, this is a 12 speed driver, 503. So this thing, and it's super flat. I think this thing is going to be beefy. But I got it because I thought that the stamp was really cool. Like the, um, oh. the bird here. with like the spiral. And I think it's probably like, has to, like, since it's New Zealand, maybe it's like the indigenous, like, culture like yeah. art because all of the, all the stamps look like this with the swirls okay. and stuff yeah. you know interesting color it's like a goldish yeah orange yellow with some shimmer shimmer yeah. um, three i have an overstable driver something that's neutral to it looks like overstable happy holidays oh. it's a christmas disc and it's sparkly and it's, it's right a here. prodigy pga approved and it's, it's the prodigy. type it's written like in one of the yeah. Just, it's like an H1. H1. So this thing is a... Also a overstable? It's like not a distance driver. It's a hybrid, so it's not a distance driver. It is a hybrid. It's H. not a H. Yep. Not a distance, not a fairway. And it's overstable. Great. A lot of options here. Uh, I've got overstable, overstable, and neutral it's uh, christmas but it's christmas no this honestly this disc is sick it's like it's red once again and it's got that shimmer to it which is sick. and it's got okay this one i was like this is cool but i don't actually know if it's cool but like i thought it was cool okay and uh, i gotta I'm remember nervy. okay I'm super nervous about this one yes it's a mercy you see right okay. there yeah mm -hmm. uh-huh latitude yes. 64. oh yeah it's a latitude 64. uh-huh yeah, yeah. But that's in dynamic disc, right? No, that's they, a trilogy. This They're a trilogy. next to each other. Sure, yeah. yeah. They're it's made part of the same of, It's part of the yeah. three. It's part of the three. It's she part of the three. I know. Bing, bing, bing. It's an Idlewild stamp. It's an Idlewild stamp. Oh, that's From sick. the 2020 Disc Golf Pro Tour. Yeah. And it glows in the dark. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I know things. I've never, I've never thrown to Mercy before. It's uh, I think we watched that. Did we watch that? 
We did watch Idlewild Tournament? together. We did, yes. Because it's the one that has the real tricky uh, hole 17. Yeah, with the like swamp set up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The slower page, sadly. Womp, womp, womp. Didn't do too well. But Sorry, Paige. Uh, well, hey, I am going to have a round so of these. I think that when I started out to go for round, I was like, well, like, I could try and make you a well-rounded bag, but but I really just thought these would all be cool for Robbie to own. And what's what's my, what's my yours is mine, so. So now she will own them, and I think she may be putting with this. Um, you like your pure. Which is also made by Latitude 64. Maybe I'm a Latitude 64 kind of gal. We'll see. Cool. Hey, we'll see you guys with the round. Let's jump on in. Starting on the back nine of George Ward, hole one is just a simple gap you gotta hit and the basket sits off to the left. Never thrown this before, but we're gonna see how this goes. This, uh, we're going H1 because we don't have any touch shots. That'll play. Okay, I have to give it some more juice. Hole two, one of the easiest, most straightforward holes. It just sits off to the right, straight shot. Let me go Mercy off the tee, why not? in opto so we can throw it. Gotta want it, but those heels are scary. Excellent, baby. Hole three going to give some difficulty. There's a bit of a tunnel, multiple gaps you have to hit, and you kind of throw the disc down the hill, letting it hyzer out to the left. You're gonna throw the super overstable guitar, 12 speed driver, just like flare it. Why not, you know? Because you never know that. It flared. Oh, he's very close. Yeah, we're just gonna accept the three on this one. Looks like a drop into me. Does that count as practice strokes because I put more in? Let me know in the comments. That could hurt my score a lot. Hole four, biggest thing you're looking out for here is the sidewalk is OB and there is a creek running along to the right that is also OB. Safe route, I would say. Mercy, up the middle, right to the basket. Dangerous route, Exodus, on the outside, hyzering into the basket. You know what we do here? We live dangerously. Or I take the safe route with the dangerous disc and end up really far away. That also works. One of these days, I'll have a close butt, like not a 30 footer. Three. Raise your hand if you like uphill shots. There is a mandatory on the right side of the hole, but pretty easy to hit. I'm gonna try the H1 again. Let's see how it goes. Say with me, that'll putt. 
We asked for it, and we got it. That is what dreams were made of. Have mercy on me. Lots would say this is a signature hole, the island hole. It's not playing like an actual island, but the basket just does sit there on the peninsula. Normally, we would hit this with a with a putter. I understand the putter. Since we didn't get any of those, we'll hit it with a speed driver. Sounds good. Yeah. Only know this about the old couple that is directly in the line with water. too much for the up and down whoops classic hole the basket sits on the side of a hill so you do want to be careful of rollaways but i feel like the h1 is going to come in too hard and roll the guitar is definitely going to roll so it's the exodus i think yeah. The basket for hole eight does tuck behind the trees there, so you can hit it with a forehand or you can kind of take the straight line through that tight gap. Go throw that RPM guitar. Real wide, just real wide. That'll do. Last but not least, there is a Mando right off of the tee that you have to hit. Other than that, you're weaving your way through these woods, multiple lines to take, and the basket sits down the hill waiting for you there. That would not be fun footing. So that wraps it up for the Infinite Disc Challenge. If you are looking for discs, huge variety, definitely head over to InfiniteDisc.com, check it out. What's really cool is that you do get to select the exact disc so we knew what colors we were getting, what stamps we were getting, which is awesome. If you're building a bag on Infinite Disc, I would definitely suggest putting more putters and mids in there than three drivers. But honestly, what a fun challenge. If you guys want to see this again, let us know. Or if you want to give Lindsay specific guidelines that she should follow when she does it, let me know there too. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, sorry I wasn't able to get more birds on the back half of this course. But look forward to the front nine in a future video. But for now, I'm going to leave you with the birdie.